Hi, this is Fred from WP Shout, and today I'm going to show you how to fix a plugin that is crashing your website with a PHP error. So I've written a plugin called WP Shout Break Everything. I've installed it on a live site, our client site, pressifink.com, and currently WP Shout Break Everything just returns, so it's harmless. But now that it's active, let's add some just gibberish to it, just bad, bad code, and we'll save it, upload it, and we're going to take our site down. Syntax error. And notice we've taken the front end down so users can't access the site. We've also taken the back end down so even admins can't access the site. So that means that I can't go into this plugins.php and deactivate the plugin. So what do I do? The best way to fix this is rename the plugin folder. What's that going to do? It's going to deactivate the plugin. Why did the plugin deactivate? It's because the folder and file that WordPress was expecting uh, no longer exists. It, WordPress can't find those, those, um, that folder and that file, and so therefore it has no choice but to deactivate the plugin. That'll also put the front end back up so people can visit the site. And then now if you want, you can uh, rename the plugin back to its real name. And then let's figure out what we did wrong. Uh, oh, this is all gibberish, okay. So we're just gonna return the plugin to being harmless, but useless, but, but harmless, not, not the kind of thing that takes down an entire site. So we'll go ahead and save our changes. And then if we like, we can reactivate the plugin. So um, something to really notice here is that you need FTP access to be able to do this fix. So if you're working on a site and all you have is WordPress access, but not FTP, um, you can break a site in ways that you yourself cannot fix because you know maybe you install a plugin um, and somehow WordPress's fatal error checks don't catch that it does fatal error, which shouldn't happen, but I've had that happen on numerous projects. Or maybe you're writing a plugin, the plugin's active, and you make a misstep and introduce a fatal error into um, into the plugin that you're writing and suddenly not only is the front end of the site down but the back end is down meaning you can't deactivate the plugin that's breaking everything and if you don't have ftp access to do what i just showed you um, the site could be you know a live site could be down for hours or days if you're cowboy coding with with just wordpress access and you could get into a situation where there's confused people calling the person on the phone maybe they're losing hundreds or thousands of dollars in sales um, and they're frantically searching for their hosting password and FTP information while the site just sits there with a fatal error going on. So that's a good reason not to cowboy code in the first place, but it's, uh, it's definitely a good reason that if you are going to be making changes on a live site, you need FTP access. Okay.